Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the function y equals some constant times the cosine of k theta. Again, we're going to vary k. We're starting at k equals 1, k equals 2, k equals 3, 4, and 5 to see what the graph looks like. There are some subtle differences between the cosine function and the sine function. For one, in all cases, at least one leaf will be on the positive axis. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here you have a leaf on the positive axis, again over there, 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 and there. So you can see that in all cases you will have at least one leaf on the x-axis. When k is an even number, like in 2 or 4, notice that every axis has a leaf on it. And in the case of k equals 2, we only have four leaves, one on each of the axes. Here we have eight leaves, one on each of the axes, and the other four halfway in between each of the two axes. You can assume then when the k is equal to 6, again you'll have four leaves, one on each of the axes, and then two leaves in between here, two in between, two in between, and two in between, and so forth. What happens when k is odd? Well, when k is odd, then notice you have the same number of leaves as the value for k. k is 1, you have one leaf, k is 3, you have three leaves, k is 5, you have five leaves. Always, one will be in the positive x-axis, but then notice that all the other leaves will not be on top of an axis. For example, here we have three leaves, that means the angle between each must be 120 degrees. If this one is on the x-axis, so there's 120 degrees difference here, 120 degrees and 120 degrees back. In the case of the angle being 5, notice the angles between will be 72 degrees, 72, 72, 72, 72, 72 and 72. So notice in general, if k is odd, k equals the number of leaves. If k is even, the number of leaves equals twice the number k. So those are the subtle differences. Uh, one more thing perhaps to mention, the constant in front just indicates the length of each leaf. So the length of each leaf is equal to 2 because we have a 2 in front. So the length of each leaf is 2, which is indicated in the first couple of drawings. But it's true for every one of them. And that's how it's done.